Now it's asking me where is my certificate going to be hosted and it's on a third party or dedicated server and then it's going to ask me to paste in my certificate signing request. So where is that? Well, what I'll do is I'll go back here and if I look in my C drive, you'll see there's my certificate request. So all I do is I copy that, I come back in here, I paste it, I'll say my certificate issuing organization is going to be GoDaddy, and then I'll say next. And you can see it's automatic, it's read that certificate request, it knows it's for star.oeccomputers.com. That's the certificate issuing organization, and then I'll say next, so that's all okay. And it's now going to go through the process of creating the certificate. All right, so I'll say finished. And you can see there is my certificate all created for me. So I select that certificate, and now what do I want to do? I now want to download that. So I choose download, and I'm going to say what. Um, kind of platform am I going to download this for? Now this time I'm going to download it for IIS 7 um, but I'm also going to want to download this again later for my SAP mobility piece I'm going to want to download it for Tomcat but anyway right now I'll just say IIS 7 and then I'll choose download certificate for IIS 7 and I'll save this file and the file name, I'll call it OEC Computers, and I'll save that in my, I think I'll probably save that on my C drive, is probably the best place for it, in the root directory. So I'll save that, okay, um, don't have permission to save in this location, that's alright, I'll save it in my Richard folder in the downloads where it was trying to save it in the first place just say save and that's now done so I'm gonna pause for a second because uh, I'm not gonna be able to fit all of this on the one um, YouTube video and we'll come back and we'll um, we'll continue on with the process uh, in our next video so now I've downloaded my certificate file I can close out of the GoDaddy website because I'm now finished there and what I want to do is go into my computer, go into my downloads area which is under Richard downloads and there's the zip file which I need to uh, which I need to extract. So I'll double click on there, I'll choose extract all files and I'll put it into a folder now called OEC computers certificates because I want to keep this for future reference as well and I'll say extract and that's now done um, my OEC um, certificates are now ready for me to bring in and complete my certificate request in IIS so we'll close that folder and now we'll go back into IIS and I'm just going to maximize that we'll look at our server if I go down here to my server certificates and double click on there, you'll now see I've got an option which is complete certificate request. So I'll choose that. Now I need to navigate out to where that certificate file is. So I go out to computer, to my C drive, my users folder, my downloads and my OEC certificates folder. In here I'll say choose all folders and I want the oeccomputers.com certificate so I'll say OK. I'll give this a friendly name and this is my OEC computers wildcard. This is just making it easy for me to identify this certificate when I'm looking at it and I'll say OK. And that's now done. You'll see I now have uh, my OEC computers uh, wildcard certificate and that's now sitting in there 
and that's ready to use for um, uh, for small business server so next thing I need to do is I need to tell small business server to use that certificate on uh, on my sites so if I go in here into sites and I choose the site that I want to apply this to. So I'm going to want to apply this to my SBS Web Applications site. So I'll go here, choose SBS Web Applications because that's where the remote uh, work, web workplace is sitting. I'll select that. I go into bindings. You'll see there it is. I've got my HTTPS. If I choose edit, it now asks me which certificate do I want to use and there it is my OEC computers wildcard so I'll choose that and I'll say OK and apply that so now that certificate is what is going to be used whenever anybody connects to my remote web workplace via HTTPS uh, and then um, it's not going to throw up any errors about you know problems with trusted certificates or whatever the case may be. So the next step is um, I now want to uh, use that certificate for when I am connecting um, to my demo system via remote desktop services. So what I need to do is I need to go and apply that certificate to my terminal services gateway. So how do I do that? I'm just going to close that down now because I'm finished in the IIS manager and I want to go start terminal services and terminal services gateway manager we'll open up the MMC snap in for that and you can see that when I select this particular TS gateway machine now what does the TS gateway do It basically allows you to connect via remote desktop services without having to open up special ports. So it comes in via port 80 and port 443 and basically opens up a, a secure connection through to terminal services. So you can see it's saying OEC SB server is not fully configured. And we'll just drag that over a little bit further, try and make it a little bit easier to read. To access the settings required to complete TS Gateway, click on each link as provided in each configuration task. So you can see that a server certificate is not yet installed or selected. So all I do is I click on here the configuration task. I want to select an existing certificate for SSL encryption. Now when I browse certificates, you'll see there it is automatically my wildcard certificate has been um, added into the certificate repository I'll choose um, apply and I'll say apply again and now I'll say okay and basically that's it I can now connect to my terminal services gateway uh, using SSL and that will be the certificate that protects um, the system okay is there anything else I need to do here? Yes, there is. There's one more step and I want to make sure that when I am connecting to my server via remote desktop that, um, that that's all being secured for me. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go start, go into administrative tools, again, go to terminal services and go into my terminal services configuration. I'm going to double click on my RDP uh, configuration this is for my RDP protocol and I'm going to tell um, the system that I want to secure any RDP connections with that certificate so there it is there's my wildcard certificate again so I'm going to choose that and say OK and I'm going to apply that and say OK again so now my uh, RDP is also being secured so that's my certificate now applied everywhere I need it for my small business server